and change my whole page and such and I know it's something to do with the permissions on Facebook I don't know I I don't care um, Facebook can <laughs> I'm, I'm not even gonna say it but anyway we're here on YouTube and thank you guys so much for your patience I really appreciate it like I said you can't even tell there's a problem until you try to go live and then there's that so hey Isabel thank you thank you hey Ethel May nothing on Facebook yeah I'm not seeing anything on Facebook either but like I said I don't even care at this point <laughs> you guys are here and I'm happy to serve you so um, but that does limit how much what all I can do because I've wasted all this time I don't even know what time it is wasted 20 minutes my mom's supposed to be here shortly and uh, we're supposed to go do something and go and see my sister but um, but anyway, I wanted to come on here and do a, you know, show you guys a quick tip because I have a wreath that I wanted, I need to be updating, and actually, it's probably pretty late. Um, I usually try to do it like right before the next season, like, and like now I'm starting to think about summer and and even, you know, some people are shopping for fall right now, guys, if you can believe it, fall and Halloween. Um, but anyway, this is a spring wreath. Um, that I really should have updated quite some time ago, but I'm just now getting around it. I kept looking at it. I've got a, a wreath graveyard that I keep looking at it and to remind me to do it, but I just never have done it. But um, in the meantime, I wanted to show you a tip that's going to apply with this wreath. And um, this is one of those projects that I was never happy with it. And I'm pretty, I mean, it, I did this on a live video you may have even seen it but I mean if you took away the theme and took away this bow and such I think it'd be okay but it's a strawberry wreath in case you can't tell there's a these little strawberries in here and I had this really cute sign um, but I think what got me off course on this wreath but I like I said I was making it live so I just kind of went with it um, I don't know if you can see but it has the little seeds there are yellow and you know I I looked at it after it was done I'm like it's way too busy way too busy um, and you know if somebody's want a strawberry wreath they probably don't want yellow they probably want red white that kind of thing maybe a hint of yellow but I just went way off course with it and I knew it like I said I knew it but it is what it is but I did want to show you I'm, I'm gonna take out what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take out these um, I don't know if those are daisies or dahlias but I'm gonna take these out they're really cute I mean really nice silk flowers I'm gonna take those out I'm gonna replace those with some geraniums I've got these really pretty they're velvet geraniums I think the velvet makes them uh, gives them all that richness there and then I've got a filler bush that I'll put, be putting a little bit more white. And I, I think it'd be okay if it had a little touch of yellow, like this um, um, black ribbon here on the underside is, is yellow. And so it, it's okay if it's going to have a little touch of it. I think this ribbon's too busy. Um, but like I said, I wanted to show you a tip that might be a lifesaver for you. I know it was for me whenever somebody showed me this tip, but um, I know, you know, I know, where is it? I lost everything. I've, I've lost my mind today. I think that just threw my whole train of thought off, fumbling with all that technology. But, um, <laughs> oh, thank you, Isabel. Thank you. Hey, Barbara. Thank you, guys. But, um, I know strawberries when you come and get them off of a patch. I've, I've picked my share of strawberries um, when I was younger, but they're kind of saggy like this on the vine. I know that. That's the way they, they grow naturally. However, it doesn't work really well for wreath making and designing as far as placing these the way you want them. Um, I took a couple of them. I had a couple of bunches out down here. And I'm going to show you how we can take you know saggy strawberries like this into this okay it's simple and you can also use this tip for your flowers like if you've got a flower that just won't won't hold its shape like won't hold it hold its position more or less hold its position where you want it you can use this tip on a, a flower also whether it's real or silk 
okay? Because it, it was a florist that actually that showed me this tip. But um, I've already done three of them on here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take some floral wire, and it needs to be a decent gauge, like a, like a heavier gauge. And on um, floral wire, the bigger the number is, the thinner the wire is. For example, an 18 gauge wire is much heavier, I don't know if you can see that, it's much heavier than say a 26 gauge wire. Uh, the 26 gauge wire is pretty thin, um, but, and it won't have much body to it. Uh, but this, this, I can bend that and that's gonna go, it's gonna stay wherever, it, wherever I want it. I, I don't know, somebody gave me this package and it didn't have a label on it. But I'm going to guess it's, it's at least an 18 gauge, maybe a 16 gauge. I'm not sure. But anyway, what I did, I just need a little short piece for these strawberries. But I just cut this in about, probably about 4 inch strips like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take these. And, and again, you can do this same thing with a floral head. I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to insert it right up in there, right next to where that um, stem comes out. And these are not, these are uh, hard plastic, but right underneath where they did the opening for the stem, there's a little bit of softness there where I can stick this, this wire up in there. So now I've got this, I want, I want it to stand straight out, so I'm just going to take this wire now and I'm going to wrap it around this wired portion down here. Okay, and that's going to blend in just like the rest of the greenery. Uh, of course, you know, if it's obvious, then you can always disguise it with a little bit of greenery if you wanted to. But like I said, you could also, like this little floral head here, if I wanted to bend him out here and he won't stay, all I've got to do is do the very same thing. I just take it, this, this is a bad example because the, the flower head's small, but I just take a, um, take a wire, stick it right up in there, and then wrap it around my remaining stem, and, and now I can put it wherever I want, okay? All right. Hey, Verlene, how are you? Yeah, we had some technical issues. If you're just joining in, we had some technical issues. So I'm just now getting here. Facebook is going to have to, they're going to have to have a download later or upload, I should say. All right, I'm going to do this last one here. I'll show you this again. But all I do, as I said, I take this right up in there. Now, now if you've got a hard plastic, and I think I'm sticking this into the glue, right here. But if you've got a hard plastic, like this is not cooperating, all I gotta do is take my awl, or a, even a pen for that matter, make sure I don't run it through my finger. Just make a little hole there. So I just took it right, in, right underneath of there, right into that where the same place where that little stem comes out. And then I just wrap it around this remaining. Now, um, depending, now these, these are a little harder plastic, so I'm gonna do this on this. Um, you don't necessarily have to glue, it just depends on how much you can get up in there. But I am gonna glue these because um, they're hard plastic, I'm afraid they're gonna slide out. You know, the styrofoam tends to stick to it a little bit better. But uh, I'm just going to put just a little dab of glue, just like right there, right where I did that. That's kind of messy, but we'll clean it up. And you also, you'll want to, if you do this with your hot glue gun like I just did, you'll want to be careful because if you get that, that um, softer plastic in there, it'll melt it. So... Um, if that you know if that's going to change your out your design, then you need to think about that. Okay, all right. But now I can position those any way I want. All right, uh, Sarah. Yes. 
Yes, I do. I know. I know, you guys. Sarah and Nancy, yes. I finally I said, heck with them. I, uh, they changed my page. They changed the settings. Took my apps off and everything. That's what I was doing with the computer. Finally, I said, I don't care. <laughs> I, I and that's like I said, that's one of the reasons I like do, going on YouTube better. I need to work more on growing my YouTube and getting people shifted over here because YouTube is pretty reliable. I know whenever I go live, I'm I'm live, um, and usually if it's a hiccup, it's my problem, not because they changed everything that I'm familiar with. But that's okay. All right. Do you guys have any questions about that? Like I said, I would use either 16 or 18 gauge wire. Hey, Valerie. Yeah, not on Facebook today. They Facebook and me are they for some reason it won't let me go live over there, and I'm, it's going to be a it's going to be a project to get it to work again. I think, unless I made them mad, and I don't know. Like right now, I'm done. I don't even care. <laughs> you guys ever get like that? I'm like, just leave it alone. Leave it alone, please. Okay, anybody else have any questions there? But like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap out these dahlias for geraniums. I'm going to swap those out. And... Um, the bow, I'm going to change it. I don't know how much I'm going to change. I, I'm going to at least come back, if I make a completely new bow, I'm going to come back with the um, two and a half inch red, this polka dot. I'm going to get rid of these two for sure. But see how, look, I'll cut those out and just see how much those, that even that calms this bit. It's just, um, like I said, if somebody's buying a strawberry wreath, they want, they don't want yellow, they want red. But, but yeah, if you guys, if you're just coming in, I explained everything at the beginning, after I finally was able to get live, after I gave up on Facebook. Now, if I if I choose, which I don't think I will, I probably will go ahead and redo this whole bow. But um, if I choose to to um, leave the the red and the black and just add another ribbon or something like that, then this this will be covered up where I cut that off. But you don't want to pull out the whole thing because then your bow's gonna fall apart because you know you've got that pipe cleaner there holding on to a certain amount of ribbon. You take it out completely and then it's not gonna hold on to the remaining ribbon. But um, but look how that calmed that down. And I haven't even I haven't even taken it all out. I mean this needs to come out, this needs to come out, but and these need to go into uh, actually let me see if I can just slide one out. I don't know if I can or not. See, if I had had more time, if I could have gone live when they, I asked them to, I could have shown you this whole thing here that showed you what a difference this makes. I'm trying to find where this other one comes out here. Okay, and like I said, those will come out too, but I think that'll be make a, a much prettier wreath with those red geraniums and then add in some of this, um, some of this filler flower. So anyway, like I said, I apologize for all the technology problems. Um, as I said early, my mom's going to be here in a little bit, and uh, so... I've got to go upstairs now and, and greet her. So, 
Oh, on the Strawberry Berlin, that was either a 16 or 18 gauge. I Somebody gave me this and it, it did not have a label on it, um, but I'm pretty sure it's 16 or 18 gauge. Oh, you like it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Diane, here I am. Yeah, Facebook and I are fighting today for some reason. I'm gonna have to, it's going to take me a, a... Well, I worked on it 20 minutes or so. I've just been live here for, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. Oh, will I be making a Mother's Day wreath and bows? Um, I don't usually make a specific Mother's Day wreath because um, there's so many different tastes. Um, pretty much in, in any of my springtime wreaths or, or that kind of thing, I would put a Mother's Day tag in it, but I don't usually make one specifically for Mother's Day, if that makes sense. Because to me, I, they can buy about anything. Oh, Val Valerie, you like the you like the wreath as it is. Yeah, I just think it was too busy. And like I said, if somebody's buying a strawberry wreath, I think they would want the predominant color to be red and not yellow. But like I said, I was making this on a Facebook Live, so that's what I the supplies I had pulled. And I knew it was wrong, or I knew I didn't like it whenever I was making it, but I just had to keep going. <laughs> so, okay, all right. Oh, happy Val, happy Easter to you guys too. Thank you, thank you so much. The wreath behind you. Which wreath are you talking about, Valerie? I'm trying to think that this one here was a Facebook Live. This, um, I think, I think we did that on a Facebook Live, maybe even last Friday. Um, that one, I believe you saw the the pompous grass. I'm sure you saw that one, Valerie, in the group. And the one down the lemon wreath is a is a tutorial. But I'm not sure which one you're talking about, Valerie. Oh, the strawberry? No, this was a Facebook Live. I don't know if it was last year, but I it might have been the year before. I don't remember. But um, if you if you go to my business page in the search bar, if you go in, put in strawberry, it might come up. Um, but it was either last year or the year before. But I've I've needed to redo it for a while. But I'll I'll be sure and post the after whenever we get done, or after I get done with it. Yeah, Deborah, I'm not, Facebook wouldn't let me go live today for some reason. It says something about permissions or something, and they're always doing that. It always seems like it's on Friday. I don't know why. And when I went and looked at my page, my page is all different. So they're messing with it for some reason. It certainly is not to keep followers. Because <laughs> I'm about up to here with Facebook. This has been a bad week for me and Facebook. So. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, my mom should be here any minute. I'm going to go up there and stare so I can greet her. Thank you guys so much for your patience. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions pertaining to what I showed you earlier, um, be sure and uh, just let me know. And if if you're a true Facebook fan, I'll be downloading this and then uploading it over to Facebook if we can get if I can get it figured out. Um, and um, have a great Easter, great holiday 